Yeah, just to take another quick look. So it's a high power Hypericon Cobb LED, eight watts, compatible with standard dimmers. I guess they're working on their energy star rating. 40 degree beam angle, soft white glow, 3000 Kelvin. It's a par 20, eight watts, 500 lumens. Doesn't look like they're terribly efficient. 62.5 lumens per watt. Five year warranty. And not for enclosed fixtures, but mine are not enclosed. Yeah, I wanted the dimmer for three of the lights, and then I wanted the smaller size for my uh, spotlight. I think that'll work. Nice thing with these is they're, you know, instant on, unlike the. Uh, CFL bulb I had. So yeah, I think I'll I'll give these a try. Yeah, so I have this little um, light bar in one of the rooms in my house. I had been running some little LED bulbs in here, but these are like really dim and these spotlights don't have any reflector capabilities. They're more just a little can light. And so I put one of the spotlights in there and they seem to work pretty good. They kind of shine on the wall over here, a little dirty. I'll probably be repainting this room different color, so I'm just trying to get it uh, set up here. Okay, YouTube, I just threw in an old uh, light dimmer that I have here. I used to use this in my bathroom, but it made the LED bulbs in the vanity light buzz, and they also flickered. They were supposed to be a dimmable bulb, but they didn't actually seem to be. There we go, this is full brightness. You can see I can bring the lights all the way down. It's kind of an overcast morning, so we're not getting a whole lot of light in the room, but that gives a pretty good indication of the dimming. It's really smooth, there's no flicker, no buzzing. goes right down you can see there's lights off lights on yeah I think that uh, that looks like it's pretty accurate in the camera there and they come on right away so yeah I think those lights work quite well on the dimmer and that is with three light so that's a what a total of 24 watts before i was running a pair of nine watt three led bulbs on this same dimmer and they didn't uh, work very well they dimmed reasonably well they kind of flickered at the low end but they buzzed at all dimmer settings i don't know if that was something with the cree bulbs or what that was. This was a LED rated dimmer. It's not like it was an old incandescent dimmer. It was just a, specifically because it said LED compatible, but I guess that's the problem with LED lights. There's each light has a list of recommended dimmers and you can't just go by the light. Dimmer says LED and you've got an LED light that's dimmable. The next level is you have to have the right uh, compatibility there. So these bulbs seem to be happy on this dimmer. So I think I am good to go. So I mean, you couldn't tell those from an incandescent bulb as far as how they work. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with those. Yeah. So this is the fully dimmed setting. They're still, you know, reasonably bright. But if we get up close to the bulb, there's no buzzing at all. No flickering. So checking the power consumption on these 8 watt Hypericon PAR 20 LED lights. And this is again three lights, so that would be three times eight or 24 watts. But that's that's pretty close with uh, three 8 watt bulbs. It's you know, reporting 26 watts, allowing a couple watts for the meter accuracy. That would be a reasonable reading. Let's take a look at the volt amps and power factor. So there should be the volt amps power factor here, which is this one. There's Hertz. That should be power factor. Yeah, so the power factor is a little on the low side for 
top quality LED bulb, but that's not bad. I imagine that's one of the things they're working on for their Energy Star rating, because I think you need something like a 0.9 power factor. So they're a little low on that, and they're a little low on the lumens per watt. So again, this is three 8-watt bulbs at full brightness, and we'll bring the dimmer down. Display is getting pretty dim there. We're at uh, 9, 8, 7. Pretty much, I think when I go to the full dim, it gets down to about 6 watts. Yeah, I guess that's the one downside of a kilowatt meter is that they, they're powered off the power. And I think when I check the voltage here, it's around 56 volts. Quite a nice dimmable bulb. Pretty impressive for an LED. There's no audible buzzing. There's no flickering. Pretty nice bulb. So, yeah, check that out. I'll put a link to the uh, purchase information in the video description. And if you have any questions or comments, put that in the comments section below the video description. And as always, thanks for watching.